Taking a look at question number 11, we're given a coordinate plane um, with a point C, D, and B on it. Okay, it says for A, we need to identify the quadrant of point B. Well, the first thing you should do is label all of your quadrants. We have quadrant 1, 2, 3, I know my 2 looks a bit like a 5, um, and quadrant 4. Okay, but we specifically for A want to find out um, what quadrant point B is in. So what quadrant is point B in, Conan? Point B, what quadrant is that in? Four. Quadrant four. Okay, so that's all you have to write down for that. Uh, quadrant four. And that's it for part A. Part B says to identify the coordinates of point B. So when we're finding a coordinate, what do we look at first? The X or the Y? X. X. Okay, so we look at X first. Um, and then we take a look at y. So it goes x comma y. Okay, so we're going in the x direction. We go over this many to get to where b is. How many is that, Tony? How many did we go over to get to that? Three. Okay, so our x point is three. Okay, now we need to see when we go in the downward direction, is that a positive or a negative thing? Negative, okay? So we're going to have a negative part for our y. We're going to move down, and how many did we move down? How many did we move down, Drake? Four. Four. Okay, so we've got negative four. So three comma negative four. Okay, and that is um, the answer for b. Now, c, it says to identify the coordinates of point d. Well, we see that point d isn't even um, in a quadrant. It is on the x-axis. Okay, so when we're looking at the point... We're going to go x in the x direction first. Okay, so I go over 1. Okay, is that a positive 1 or a negative 1? Emily? Negative. negative 1. Which you'll notice for some reason, I don't know, they didn't label those negative. Um, so that's negative 1, and did we leave the x-axis? Did we go up or down? No. no, so our y point would be 0. Okay, so that is it for question 11, uh, the three parts of question 11. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to email me.